so let's put that, let's put that. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Warrior Babe here. Welcome to all of my returning subscribers. And if you're new here, what's up? Welcome to the family. Y'all, before I go any further, I just want to go ahead and say thank y'all so much for a thousand subscribers. I haven't had the chance to address it on the channel yet, but thank y'all so much. I really, really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this crochet hairstyle on me. Yes, it's just, it's so bomb. I just feel like I haven't done full, full hair in a while. So this was just like, yeah. Yes. So if you'd like to watch how I got this hair done, continue watching. Alrighty, so the first thing I did was uh, do this corner on the side. And as you guys can see, it kind of goes all the way down and kind of curves. Um, you're going to see it in a little bit when I turn around. So all I'm doing is just cornering this first uh, piece. And right there, I curve it. I keep looking just to make sure that y'all um, can see it in the camera. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and connect both of the cornrows right there in the middle. Okay, so now I've sectioned off my hair into two parts. Um, it doesn't have to be equal, but that would be nice. And now I'm going to be doing these smaller cornrows just at the top here. I did count mine out. You don't have to do how many I did, but... Um, I knew that I was connecting two cornrows together, so I went ahead and made sure it was an even number. Okay, so now I'm working on that back section, and what I'm doing is trying to make these U so I can follow the pattern of that very first uh, couple of braids that I had on the side so you're gonna see it in a little bit at the back where I'm yeah there we go where I'm just like following the pattern so I can do the same thing on the other side and then connect them at the bottom just like that very bottom row So by the time I'm done with my um, second pair, I only have one braid left. So all I'm doing is just braiding it down and connecting all the pieces I had that were left out together. And now I'm ready to crochet. Um, obviously I had already started crocheting off camera, but this is what the back looks like right now. This is probably like 15 or 20 minutes into crocheting. I love crocheting because it doesn't take a long time at all. This is just me doing a regular crochet method you know you pass the pin through the hair you attach the hair that you're crocheting and then you do your loop okay so I do this for roughly about 30 more minutes it takes me maybe an hour an hour and a half to um, finish the back area and when I say the back area I mean everything but the cornrows that I had in the front so um, again it doesn't take too long and that's one thing I love about it Okay, so by the time I'm done with the back, I move to the front, and you guys can see me here like pulling the crochet needle kind of like through the braids. I actually saw this on this YouTuber's channel. I don't remember her name, but I'm going to put the original video down in the comment box below. I think she had originally done this to give herself edges uh, for the crochet hair, but I just figured um, I'm trying to achieve a bangs look with this hairstyle so it just made sense for me to try it this way so the hair falls forward as opposed to the hair falling sideways I didn't do it for all of the um, small cornrows in the front I only did it for like maybe the uh, pieces that are right in the middle of my head so you don't have to do this all around and you don't even have to do it like this anyway so it's just up to you it's just something I wanted to try and it ended up looking nice for me so as you can see for the sides I'm just doing the regular crochet method um, that I explained earlier before I do have a more detailed video for crocheting if you guys want that so just click on that link up there and you can go ahead and access that tutorial
so now I kind of have my head full and you guys are going to notice that here I am running the one of the strands through the loop all over and bringing it on the other side I believe this is called the invisible uh, crochet method uh, I think I also did find this on YouTube I will put the link down below but this is supposed to create that invisible part so you can't like see that oh you know you have the crochet knots there um, I feel like at the end of the day it didn't matter for me because I was doing bangs but at the time I wanted to try it out to actually see if truly it was given invisible part And yes, I like my hair very, very full. That's why I'm looking for <laughs> even the slightest space to add more hair because it had to be full. It had to be full, y'all. It had to be. Okay, so like I mentioned, I did want bangs. So I'm going back in with that method and running the pin through the braid. Be very careful so you don't like, I don't know, rip your hair out. So... Um, just be mindful of that so here after doing that I'm gonna pass it through the other side because I want the bangs to you know not just be on one side I wanted to fall well and cover my forehead so it just made sense to me to go ahead and do it on one side and then pass it to the other side and I believe the result came out good I'm sure people have done this before but this was my thinking when I decided to go ahead and add bangs to the hairstyle I'm just filling up whatever space is left before I go into the next phase of the hairstyle. The next phase of the hairstyle is cutting and honestly I'm not even the greatest fan of cutting. Like it's the worst thing for me to do because I never know. <laughs> I feel like I'm terrible at it but um, I was like okay I've watched YouTube videos let me just try and see what I can achieve. Like it didn't, it didn't seem too hard right but when you start doing it that's when it finally seems hard. But anyways, um, I'm trying to cut the bangs. I'm trying to add layers. I'm, I'm just trying to give it some shape. I'm trying to shape it. Y'all know that TikTok? It just needs a little shaping. <laughs> okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'm just trying to like make it sit right on my face, make it look good. Shout out to Kiva for helping me do the back because doing the back was just not going to be possible for me. Um, my hands cannot go that far. So Kiva helped me out there and yeah, we're able to come up with something that worked. Like look at this hairstyle, y'all. I feel like it looks bomb. It gives me everything that I wanted to give. Um, it didn't even take me that long. I want to say overall with the shaping and everything, it probably took me like three hours to finish the hairstyle and you know with this type of hair you might be worried about how you're supposed to maintain it and all of that what I've been doing is just doing a double twist um, it doesn't matter how much hair you grab I try to do like equal sections around my head and I just double twist it and I wear my bonnet and I'm good to go the next morning I just untwist and like use my fingers to fluff it out and I'm good to go and so far the hair has lasted it looks good it still looks voluptuous okay it still looks nice my curls are still popping and you know it's it, it still works let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle I'm really in love with it I haven't done crochet or at least I haven't done uh, this method of crochet in such a long time and I was like yes this is really just giving me what I needed to give okay let me know if you guys have any questions comment them down below thank you all so much for tuning in I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see y'all next time on Warrior Babe bye y'all